Hey everybody, how you guys doing on today? I pray you guys are doing well. Happy Tuesday to you all. Um, again, I pray that you guys are doing well wherever you are. Um, I'm on here real fast um, just to, um, I went and done some shopping here and there and I just wanted to I just show you guys um, some things that I picked up. Um, we got the jewelry still going on over here, guys. I mean, really, it's just like we I, we just can't escape it over here. For like the last couple of months, it has just been very, very dreary outside. But today is kind of of an exception because last night we had some snow, or yesterday we had some snow, and it's it wasn't a whole lot, you know, one to two inches. You know, that's just about it, you know. It wasn't nothing drastic. Um, but over here, you know, one to two inches is nothing, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inches. I mean, it's something, but you know, we just, we do, we got to do over here. We just dig ourselves out and keep it moving. So the one to two inches last night, you know, wasn't a problem for us on today, but we just certainly, we just don't want to be out there digging out any kind of snow over here where we at but you know we just got to do what we got to do but i just be happy when the sun i just be happy when the sun it gets a little bit more consistent about coming out we did have two days last week which was last thursday and friday we did have some sunshine it was in the 50s on that day and that was the calm before the before the dreary's you know so um in fact, you know, on Thursday, you know, my, my, my daughter's birthday, that's when we had sunshine. My daughter turned 25 on last Thursday. And I just want to get some shout outs in another video um, of those who, uh, you know, just, you know, commented on some of the little videos that I uh, put out for my daughter. You know, I didn't have a big shebang for her, you know, on Thursday because I'm looking to do something for her a little bit Um further down the pike, maybe like in April or May, I'm going to rent out a place and we're going to have a, um, um, I'm going to uh, have a, a party for her because it's not fair in January. I can't really plan parties for her because I don't, I don't know if it's going to snow or not. And here we have 50 degree weather on last Thursday on her birthday. It was beautiful. It was almost like, you know, did I see a butterfly fly past the window? That's how nice it was outside on last Thursday. I was so upset. I was like, I'm going to have a party for you today. Um, but anyway, I'm on here because, um, guys, yesterday I went out. Um, I had to do some of my errands, and there was definitely some places that I wanted to go, like Family Dollar and Dollar Tree, to pick up some more things for my Valentine's Day gifts. And yesterday, you know, yesterday, I tell you, yesterday was something else. Uh, not with the, not with the, not with the shopping, but you know, I had a little, little incident with my car yesterday. Nothing major. I didn't get into an accident or anything like that, but um, just had a little scenario that popped up with that um, as I was journeying, journeying, journer, as I was going out to do my shopping. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, yesterday I, I got to the supermarket guys and that was my first, that was my first um, stop that I was making yesterday. That was definitely something I needed to do. And um, I got there and when I got back out to get back into my car, my car would not start up. And I'm like, okay, okay. I know last April when I had did or had gotten my, um, my yearly inspection, they, um, did some batteries. They did a, you know, a battery service on my car, but I wish they would have gave me a heads up. So let me know that, you know, you might need, you might need a battery before you come in here the next go round, you know? And so this is where I got stuck yesterday. You know, I got a blessing from the supermarket and then I turned around and got into a whole bunch of mess <laughs> with my car. I said, isn't this something, isn't this something how you just can just get like a little, you know, whatever size blessing it is and then turn around and run head on into some mess. But it was still all good because I still got a little bit of blessing even after all that mess that happened yesterday. So let me just go on into the video and just say that, um, again, I wanted to go to Family Dollar to see if they had any more of these, these uh, rose bears. And they did. They had three on their shelf. And, um, you know, guys, you know, uh, I had caught Yummy T's um, live video a few days ago. I saw her in the, in the chat. In the uh, YouTube feed, and I went ahead and just went on in, and um, 
you know, that, that these were brought up, you know, it was nothing bad and nothing negative. I'm just saying they, they were just brought up and men were saying how small, you know, that these are. And they, they're small. I don't know what the big size look like because, guys, to be honest, I've seen these on the shelves in Family Dollars probably about two years, if not three. I want to say two years for sure. I know I saw them last year and the year before last, and they were on the shelf at um, Family Dollar. And I never thought once to pick them up. I never thought. I said, you know, when I saw them, I said, oh, these are what the, the rose bears look like. And there's nothing wrong with them. But I think, you know, the last ones, I'm, I'm trying to think if I saw the real ones. I was attracted to the red. But they had the pink ones on the shelf last year. And I said, oh, those are cute, you know, and I just kept going. But the red ones caught my eye. And especially since I bought red boxes, I had bought red and white boxes to do some other designs in. But I said, you know, this will look fun on my side of, inside of my, red, my red and white boxes. So um, I picked up some, and when I got it home and took the little wrapper off, I was like, oh, these are cute. The pink and the red ones. I said, oh, these are cute. You know, but the bigger ones, I don't know what they look like. You know, I know people individualize those and maybe just do like one gift and do, you know, some things to it and, you know, because maybe one or two other gifts with it. And, and, and it looks nice. But I said, there ain't nothing wrong with the small ones. I said, the small ones still work. The small ones are still good. You know, you can use these in big or small gifts. And they will work out just fine. So I think this is still a good find for me if you ask me. They're $5 at um, Family Dollars. And I think these are still good. You know, even though I don't have the black, the black bow on there, I think the gold, the silver one is still cute too. So I think these are still good. I like them. I love them. They, they, they're really cute. And I want to got me some more. So I picked up three that was on the shelf that they had. And while I was there, guys, I said, I don't, I said, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to show these to you guys. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep these to myself because sometimes I'd be wanting, you know, not just me. I know y'all feel the same way too, you know, out here in gift basket land that you want to keep some things to yourself. But we're going to see it anyway when you put it up there and you show it to us. So anyway, I said, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and show it because they're going to see them in my gifts anyway. I didn't really want to show this to y'all, but I'm going to show it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to share. I'm going to share. Ain't these cute? That's a dollar twenty-five each from Family Dollar, and these are chocolate um, lollipops. They're so cute and adorable, and these will go so nice with some of my gifts that I already created. These will go right nice, not the whole entire pack. I'm gonna individualize these, or maybe put you know a few in one. But guys, these, that's my daughter in the background. She's always agreeing. Always agreeing with, agreeing with mommy. These are cute guys. If you haven't seen them, they have these lines. And these are really cute. So I just picked up the whole box. This is, I took the whole entire thing there and just said, let me take these. And they have some more. They get some more. I'm going to get them as well. But these are cute. And these are going inside some of my gifts. You know, it'll go with the bows and everything. So these are cute. I, I saw these um, while I was there at Family Dollar yesterday, guys. So what happened was I went to Family Dollar and then I went over to the grocery store, right? To do my grocery shopping. I do have to grocery shop. I do have other things like we all do. We have other things we have to do, guys. And so while I was there, I did my grocery shopping and then I, I went past the balloons and I said, you know what? I'm going to pick me up some of these balloons because the ones at Dollar Tree, they just hang in. They hang in. They hang in by thread. They hang in. They are, look like they're about to perish. They are so flimsy because the air, let me move this back a little bit, guys. The ones at Dollar Tree's right now, now we're four weeks away from, from Valentine's Day. So that's four weeks that your balloons have to hang on for dear life, you know, to keep some air in them. And I bought one balloon last week to put on one of my gifts. And that's all I did because the, they were all, the, the air was coming out of them. And I'm like, how are these supposed to, how are these supposed to keep four weeks at, at your home? You know, so I said, I'm not buying no more balloons until, and I'm just trusting that God will leave me some balloons on here because I need balloons for a lot of my gifts. But these I saw at the supermarket and they are filled to the gill. These are, I said, I think these are last for you know, up until Valentine's Day and beyond. So I get into the line, guys. 
And I asked the cashier, I said, you know, not because I, you know, I definitely don't want to pay four or five dollars for one balloon. You know, I can buy them, but I wasn't trying to pay four or five dollars for it. So I asked the cashier, I said, how, how much are these balloons? And she said, here. Wait a minute, guys. Because they was in this bag. And she said, here. Here we go. Don't worry about it. She said, here you go. Just take them. I said, really? I said, oh, man. In my head, I was like, dang, I wish I had 10. <laughs> but I'm going to thank God for these three right here. Because this is money saved. I don't know. She didn't tell me how much they were. I don't know how much they were. They was on the receipt. But um, because Dollar Tree don't have these designs. They don't. I haven't seen that design there. I don't think I've seen this design. I don't believe I have. I've seen this one here. They do have that one. But I said, I thank you. I said, Lord, I thank you for this blessing. I said, I thank you, Lord. This is a blessing. This few dollars left in my pocket. Ten, twelve dollars. I don't know how much these balloons were. But thank God. Thank God for the, you know, you don't have to have an oversized, you know, blessing to thank God. You thank God in the good and in the small of what you get, you know, especially when you can praise them. You know, it, it, there's nothing small to me. This is not a small blessing. This is this is a big blessing because, you know, it saved me a few bucks out of my pocket. And I thank God for that. You know, we don't have to have a million dollars. We don't have to get. Now, guys, let me tell you something, though. I'm going to tell you that, you know, I, I'm grateful because, you know, I've been having blessings that have been, have been coming in left and right. When I go to stores, people's like, oh, don't worry about it. You don't have to pay for it. You know, or, you know, just something just shows up. I got a $250 blessing a, a couple of weeks ago, just out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, Lord, I thank you. You know, so I'm, I'm just... I'm just thankful, you know, that God, you're not talking about monetary things. We're not talking about materialistic things. You know, it's just a blessing to be alive and be well and in your right frame of mind. And that's a blessing in itself. But when things are showing up, I just said, Lord, ain't nobody but you. I said, I thank you. I thank you for whatever it is. You know, I don't care if it's a penny. I thank you. I thank you for whatever you said in my life. You know, so, you know, I just want to remind somebody, just be grateful, be thankful, you know, for what you have. You know, there's a song by uh, Tremaine Hawkins, Be Grateful. Look that song up on the, on the, um, on YouTube, or if you know the song, you know what I'm talking about. That's an amazing song because there is somebody who's worse off than us who would like to be in our shoes. There are people who are worse off. If we, if we got up this morning and we have... You know, our, our right frame of mind, you know, we have food in the refrigerator, we have clothes in our bag, whatever, how small or how great it is. We got something, we got, uh, 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 you know, things going on in our life, you know, that are, are going well. It may not be perfect, but, you know, there are, you absolutely, you have a warm home to be in. A lot of people don't have these things. A lot of people don't have these things. So be grateful, be grateful, you know, and don't. You know, if you got up this morning and, and you got up and you put your feet on the floor, you know, be grateful for that. Be grateful for that. And and, and just because something didn't happen or go the right way, the way that you needed to go, and you got up this morning and put your feet on the floor. You know, you got up this morning and you had food in your refrigerator. You got up this morning and you was in, you was in your sound mind. Okay? Let's be grateful for the big and the small things. So I thank God for those blues. To make a long story short, I thank him. But then, you know, the enemy, I'm not going to say the enemy, let me be coming on. Sometimes things just happen and it's not always the devil. My car, I get out the, out the supermarket and my car, my car, I have to go turn it on. It sounds like it's going to be turning on and all of a sudden it just turned off. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. You know, we're getting a little snow flurries right about now and I'm like, wait a minute. But I was outside the parking, I was outside the supermarket and then we have a, a line of stores. So I was in a safe place and I know if I needed to be warm, me and my daughter can go in, in inside. Turn that car back on two, three. When it got to the third time, I was like, oh no, my car. And I did think about my battery because when I did the uh, my car inspection, they 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 you know they gave it some service on that on that um, on that day. So I just said, ah. I said, okay, call my roadside assistance, you know, and they give you, or they gave me a, a, a 60 to a 90 minute window when they're going to be out here. Now, I don't live too far away, but it was too far for me to walk. 
But I said, I want to go ahead and and just sit inside the store and, you know, just, you know, what better place to be shipwrecked than in a shopping mall parking lot, okay? So I had stores to go into, right? So they came, uh, they, uh, I, I, um, you know, just went into some of the stores, you know, I was still around some of the stores. I went and sat in the supermarket for a little while, and then I went to some stores. And, um, no, what happened was, I, I, uh, before I went into the supermarket, let me tell you where I went. Okay. They have a Hallmark over there, right? And so, I'm just in there, you know, because I'm shipwrecked right now, you know, so I'm just... I'm just in the store right now. And so um, my daughter, though, she does, I take my daughter into Hallmarks. Now, I don't go in Hallmarks a whole lot. Um, I just go in there because I, I might need a card or I might need a certain gift for somebody. That's the only time I go into Hallmarks, but Hallmarks is expensive, okay? Not that I can't afford it, but I just ain't, you know, I can get it cheaper somewhere else, you know? But I went in there and my daughter used to get her little um, animal keychains. Um, I let her go in there and select. So that get what she wants. She will select her little keychains. And that's about the only reasons why I go into Hallmarks. But when I was in there yesterday, I said, see, I got a blessing with the balloons. And then see, you know, I done ran into this mess. Continue to praise God in your mess. In your mess. In your, in, in whatever's going on. Calamity. Learn to praise God. I said, Lord, I'm going to praise you anyway. Look, I just got these three balloons right now. The devil ain't going to discourage me because you just listen to those three blues. I'm going to keep it moving because I know I'm going to be all right. Okay. So I went in there and they still have the Christmas clearance going on. And I never once thought about going into Hallmarks to see what they had on clearance for Christmas or any other holiday. Never thought about it. Now I got a new place to visit when, when there's some clearances um, going on. So I found these in there at 75% off. These were $19.99. Really, really cute. Really, really nice for Christmas next year or any year moving forward. And I got four of those. And it was these lanterns. These are so cute. And these are not flimsy. It's not like no flimsy. This is nice. This is a nice structured piece. This is a nice structured um, lantern. Nothing falling apart. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, you got your little... Um, light switch there and this is amazing $19.99 and I paid $2.50 for it and I said why not why, why, why did I only get four I only paid $10 and some change with the taxes for these lanterns if you have a Hallmark you know near you you could go check in to see what they got in their supply because I know all Hallmarks are different according to what they have in their inventory but these are nice guys I said I'm going to go back and get me a couple more I said why didn't I get more I got four I don't want to overstock. See, that's my that's my issue. I don't want to overstock things and then they're just sitting and sitting and sitting. But this these will get used up next year. I believe they will get used up next year. These are really, really cute. And I got four and I found these at Hallmark because I was shipwrecked in the, at, 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 at the shopping mall. So I found these and I got blessed again with the... I was absolutely happy to get these here for $2.50. So once I got situated... Do you know? No, you don't know. I'm going to tell you. I got back when I finished here with the supermarket, Family Dollar, and Hallmarks. And I, I, sit, I go back to the supermarket and sit in there on the bench by the window. And so the guy calls from, um, you know, the, the roadside assistant. They were like, well, we, you know, we're going to be there a lot sooner. I was there for about an hour. I was waiting around for about an hour. They was going to come between an hour, hour and a half. So I said, okay, great. So I go out to the car. And guess what? My car starts up. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? I'm like, my car starts up. Something told me it was going to start. I, I felt that my car was going to start up. I said, I think I just got to leave it alone for a minute. But see, my car did that one time before. My car I had for, I got, this is a 2010. I got it new. I got it in 2011. And my car is low mileage because I don't, I don't have to drive around. I've been home. I've been homebound ever since I got my car and I, I work at home and, um, I don't have a lot of mileage because everything is around me. Everything. Now, and I've made a couple of trips out now. I've been to other States. I've been to New York and I've been to 
you know, other places out here, you know, um, doing what I needed to do. But I still have low mileage, low mileage on my car. So I don't drive my car a lot, um, even though I do a lot of shopping, but it's everything is around here. And so I don't have a lot of mileage. So my car is in pretty good shape. My car has not given me one bit of trouble since I had it. I have a very good car. My car is in excellent condition. So um, I forgot. Why am I even talking about this? Oh, the guy comes and my car is started up. And um, I said, he called me. He said, I'm, I'm in the parking lot. He was trying to find out where I was. I said, listen, my car started up. I said, but, you know, can you check my battery while you're here? You know, yeah. since, since you're here. And he was like, okay. So he comes and he does the battery test and everything. He was like, yeah, you need, need a new battery. He said, you know, because it's like a little puffed up and all this stuff. And I said, okay, all right. And I said, I think, God, you know, my where I take my car is at a dealership. It's, it's, it's in another town. And, uh, but I have a trusted um a mechanic that lives right around the corner, less than a minute away. I drive, I went past there, called him and asked him. He said, I got a, you know, when I got there, they had a battery, we got another battery put in there. And I said, thank God for that. You know, I thank God for the blessing again, even in that, you know, because some, a lot of times I thank God that I graduated, you know, because 10, 15 years ago, I might've been pulling my hair out. Like, oh no, I'm so devastated. But now I, I thank God. I thank him for the peace that he gives me how to handle situations, you know, instead of, you know, being, uh, you know, just uh, uh, take it and just be all over the place with it. You know, he has me to, to come to myself and just to, look, okay, come on, just lean back. It's going to be all right, especially with me. It's going to be all right. So I made it over to um, Dollar Tree and um, I went over to Dollar Tree to find my red, I don't know what you call it. It's the uh, the pack of the, it's it's gift wrap paper, but it's the shiny kind. It's that 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 um glittery, uh the red shiny. I don't know. I can't don't know what it's called. But I went over there to pick up some of that so I can get started on my um candy bouquets uh, within, you know, move uh in the next week or so. They didn't have that, so I just hunted around the store and just to see what they had. And I, I caught eyes to this, and these are kind of newish. They've been around for a little bit. I think they've been around since last summer, but I don't think I've ever seen the clear one. I like this. This looks, you know, high end to me, you know. So that's really, really cute. And, you know, I got a couple of other ones. I picked these up. I picked these up. And these would be really cute, you know, even now for Valentine's Day, you know, to, to put in. And also I found I found these when I got to the register. You know, they were kind of just sitting there, you know, up on the end, up on the uh near the cash register. And I don't typically buy stuff like this, you know, I don't do really kind of gift baskets, um unless it's just like a self-care basket, you know, but they had these there, you know, and I think I could use these like in a self-care basket, you know, whenever I get going with those again. Um, this is a three-piece, I think it's backwards on this camera, but it's a three-piece accessory kit for Apple AirPods. And it's a protective shell, sport wings, magnetic pod strap, whatever all that is, I don't know. But, you know, I picked them up because I thought it was a pretty good deal. I thought it was a pretty good deal for $1.25. And to add to, just to have these on hand in case I make a basket that can use those. And guys, they got the prayer boxes. Those who know what the prayer boxes is, I found these in the store. They, I've been looking for these for years. And guys, I have another part of my gift baskets that I do. I actually have a ministry that I do for little girls. It's called Divine Daughters um, Gift Baskets. And I give those away free. I design like this, you know, um, some um, gift bags, you know, with a crown in it um, that I, I like to the, the tear us. Um, a prayer box, you know, a journal, a pen, and some fun things and um, that I put inside um, those packages, and I give them away. And the last time I did that was last summer that I gave a bunch to a church, and I've been doing everything else but that. That's been on the back burner, and I, God placed that on my heart, and I need to jump back to that. See, this is why I got to organize my myself right now because, let me put these down, because that's something that was on my heart to do and it's been on my heart for a long time and again these are the prayer boxes I, I just gave up I haven't been looking for these 
and I was just so excited to see those in the store yesterday because I add these to those those baskets that I like to give little girls and you know the the young adults and um, you know it has a pen and a pad in here just to write your prayers on your prayer requests and you know you just stuff them in there for people who don't know I don't want to go into a whole scenario about what these gift boxes are about but it's just um, it's not a magic box now it's not like you write something down and poof you you get what you ask for you know it can happen like that, but it has to be in alignment with God and, and how he operates and not how, you know, the things of this world operate, you know, we're not into psychics and all that kind of stuff, you know, so, I mean, well, okay, I'm just leave that alone, but, um, yeah, you just write down your prayer requests and, you know, and I'll, maybe I can share something about this a little bit later in another video, but they, I got my prayer boxes while I was there. I was happy to see those and, um, I got this. Um, we're just going to go into my basket with um, my uh, panda beer and the box of chocolates that I showed in another video. This is a, a kissing ball. It's kind of like a, you know, like the, um, what do you call those things? Um, the mistletoe, you know, maybe, you know, you and your lovey-dovey, you know, can hang this where you at and where, the, you know, in that... Yeah. As you celebrate Valentine's Day, and um, I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this. This was three dollars, and they're three dollar, three to five dollar aisle at Dollar Tree. And, you know, and you can use this for a more many things, you know. But this is going to be going in to that basket that I had with the panda bear that I showed um, in a recent video. So I thought this would be a nice add-in for that because I was looking for something, and. Um, Oh, and these. I've got a bunch of other stuff, guys, um, there um, that is pertaining to my um, candy bouquet um, baskets. That's what I'll be doing uh, soon. And these are cute. These little plaques here. Valentine Forever. They're a little heavy, too. These are heavy. Um, and I know I talk about heavy things. I like some things that are heavy, but these things right here can be a little bit lighter. These these are kind of these kind of heavy. But these are really, really nice. Really, really nice. I love them. I love them. They look so elegant. I love the, the writing on it. And, you know, really nice add-ins, you know, or something pertaining to Valentine's Day. These are very, very nice. Okay, so um, I'm going to, last night I went through my inventory just to, um, to, you know, to organize things once again so I can get started on my gift baskets. And the way... Um, I have a lot of things already ready, guys, and it didn't take me no time to get it together. I have about 30 things within the last two days that I'm looking to. Uh, uh, there's some that's already together, and all I have to do is just, you know, get everything into the packaging, which ain't going to take no, no time to do. And I'm just really happy at being able to function at this level that I am doing now because it's about all, guys, it's about the bags and the boxes for me. It's about the bags and in the boxes um there's going to be a few things that i may do basket wise but it's all about the bags and it's all about the boxes for me and my camp right now when it comes to get baskets okay so i'm going to go ahead and sign out right now guys so i can jump to what i need to get to i pray that you guys have a blessed rest of the day okay until the next video bye-bye